this tutorial, I'm going to talk a little bit about the Chrome Web Store and what it is, how to find apps and whatnot. So on your Chromebook, you have a launcher. You also have this button beside the letter A on your keyboard. And when you click on it, it pops up like this. In the launcher, you will see the first four apps, or the last four apps, I should say, that you opened. And you can click on all apps if you cannot see what's called the Chrome Web Store. Because if I go back here, you can actually see it says Web Store. But I can also find it here on the first page of apps. Any apps that you have do eventually populate, give you multiple pages. This is how you switch between those pages. So here in the launcher, I'm gonna click on Web Store. And I'll give you an overview of what the Web Store really is. If you're using this personally, it'll start on the apps page. I'm on a school account, so therefore it starts on what's called a private Web Store. I'm gonna click on the word apps. So that way this looks a little more familiar. And this is where you can search any app uh, that is in the Chrome Web Store. When you get here, they give you some recommendations, maybe new and updated apps, editor picks, and you can scroll through those and look through various apps that you may want. If I click on new and updated apps, it'll give me a larger collection of new and updated apps that I can take a look at and try out myself. Okay? Now, if I want to search for something specific, I can actually search. I could say if I want to look for math apps, and I type in math, then what will happen is it'll come up and it'll say apps, give me three of them, and then it'll say extensions. Um, and so I'll talk in another video about what extensions are versus apps, but right now I'm going to focus on apps. So I'm going to click on the word apps so I can see just apps. And here are some that have been added. It says added right there, and you can see that the box is different because I've already added those. Let's say that I want this one, so I'll click on it. I can see the description of it. Uh, and this one runs offline, has a little lightning bolt there. So that's something to consider when you are downloading apps. Some require the internet. Actually, most require the internet, I should specify. And I'm going to hit Add to Chrome to add this one and hit Add App. And it puts it in my launcher. This one's called Math Block Collapse. All right. And then when I'm ready to use it, I could just click on it and use it. All right. Now that I'm here, if I want to filter more, I can actually filter between Chrome apps and websites. Many of the Chrome apps are really just links to websites. Um, so I can specify that. And I can also go into categories. So if I want to specify which category I want to be in, if I want to look up math, I want to go into education, hit academic resources, then it'll filter it even more, like so. I can even filter if I want it to run offline, if it's by Google, if it's free, Android, or works with Google Drive. And you can also filter by ratings. So if I want four stars and up, click that it'll change my filter and I can select what I want to add if you don't really care about seeing the actual description of it and you just want to add it you can just hit the add Chrome button here and hit add app and now it's in my launcher so how to find these apps that's a great question if I hit my launcher button again and go to all apps and I can see any apps that I've added and let's say I want a little folder like this all I have to do is click and drag on top of the folder that I want. If I don't have a folder yet, I can drag one app on top of the other. It'll create a folder. And then I'm going to go ahead and just drag these all in here like so. And where'd my folder go? Oh, it's over here now. I'm going to grab all my Google stuff and stick it all in one folder just for fun. So that way you can kind of see how this process works. Google Docs in there, Sheets, and whatnot. Now, oh, I put Sheets in the wrong one. You'll see that it says Unnamed Folder here, and if I don't want it in a folder, I can drag it out and put it in the folder that I want it to be in. And now I have this folder called Google Stuff, and I can always rename it here too. I could just call it Plain Google, press the back button. Keeps my name right there underneath the folder, like so. All right, so that's a little bit about the Chrome Web Store and finding apps, and I hope you found this video helpful.